How's it going, everybody? Chris Card's back with another Through the Mail Monday. Our first of five returns today comes to us from White River Junction, Vermont. Let's see who we have in here as they spill onto the desk. We've got 16 consecutive Gold Glove Award winner, Jim Cott. Jim Cott, who unfortunately no longer signs Through the Mail. He was tired of seeing his cards on eBay 74 top signed nicely as well as the Pacific Legends card and there's a little note for the donation So that's a shame a few people ruined it for uh, the rest of us basically so Unfortunate uh, five dollars is what these cards cost me so five dollars a piece That's ten dollars to the charity of his choice and unfortunately I guess the charity is not getting any money at all So I guess what he did was he signed a bunch of cards for free uh, so I don't know why he just wasn't more strict on who he signed for. If there wasn't money or donation in enclosed, he should have just uh, sent it back unsigned. A few of those, and people would stop sending him cards without a donation. So uh, some few people ruined it for the rest of us. Unfortunately, those cards on eBay, uh, I'm sure he doesn't look at the sold listings because those cards are, what, 5 10 bucks tops. Some of the older cards, maybe a little bit more if they're certified. So, I mean, no one's really getting rich off these cards, but I guess if they were getting them for free, sort of taking advantage of his kindness, I can see why he would get upset about it. But once again, he threw out the baby with the bathwater, so uh, the rest of us all have to pay for the sins of others. So, unfortunately, uh, Cot is done with TTMs. Cards are uh, being uh, returned. Uh, RTS now, re uh, return to sender, not even being opened. So... 82 years young, so hopefully you guys already have him. If not, uh, maybe a private signing if you need him on something. So there you guys go. 25-year career, only topped by Tommy John, who played for 26 years, and Nolan Ryan, who played for 27 years. Three-time All-Star, won the World Series with the Cardinals in 1982. Jim Cott, awesome dude. Thank you for signing these cards, and on to the next. This one coming to us from Columbia, South Carolina see who we have in here we have looks like an unsigned index card and we have Dooley Womack Dooley Womack a five-year career started playing professional ball at 18 played for 14 years 10 of those in the minor leagues four of those in the big leagues mostly with the Yankees as a reliever Finished his career with 24 saves, 19 and 18 record, and a 2.95 ERA uh, in 193 games. I'm not quite sure uh, why he didn't uh, play more in the bigs. His numbers looked pretty good. I wish the Mets had like five of these guys relieving for them today. But um, there we go. Dooley Womack there on Weeping Cherry Lane. That's awesome. Nice returns there for some vintage ink. Very nice. I guess the ink wasn't vintage, but the cards were. There you have it, guys. Dooley Womack. Let's move on to our next return. All right, gang. Return numero trace comes to us from North Houston, Texas. Right there, we got a return address from Romo. Is this Tony Romo? Did Chris Cards throw in a football return on you guys? That would be a first for Through the Mail Monday. But alas, no. I know for a fact I did not. I'm going to have to use the scissors on here because I can't quite tell. And there's some tape on it. This was taken very well care of. For the return, so a very compassionate person returned these cards to me. Let's pull these out and see what we've got. Looks like we've got a little note in this well-packaged uh, return. And we've got 2020 first-round draft pick Drew Romo. Chris, I appreciate it. Hope you're doing well, and I hope you like the cards. Drew Romo. Sweet. Sent his own index card with his own little note. Very nice. What is this? Just a blank piece of paper. Not very exciting. But I gotta check before I throw it away. Drew Romo, your 35th overall pick from the Colorado Rockies. They selected him in the 2020 draft right there. Nicely inscribed. 2020 first round draft pick. Very nice signature. Looks like a D and a Romo. Let's see how long he keeps up with that before he just turns into a unreadable mess like many, many players. Another first round draft pick card, some Panini Stars and Stripes card. Here is a insert from Panini Stars and Stripes. He does have a first Bowman card out there. I have not received that card yet. And a couple of signature cards. I think I sent him one. 
One just says congrats, which is funny, and one's got his name on it. So uh, really good return from this guy. Just 19 years old. Uh, he's a catcher. And let's pull for this guy to uh, make it to the bigs. Who knows? Catchers uh, have a quicker path to the bigs than most other players. Are the odds on favor to get to the bigs before anybody? But catchers, uh, if they're good behind a plate and call a good game, they can move up the ranks pretty quick. So there you guys go, Drew Romo. The other Romo in Texas. Very nice return from him. Let's move on to our fourth return. Return number four comes to us from Springfield, Illinois. This through the mail Monday just flying by, guys. Only one more to go after this. And in this return, we've got the index card and a signature card, which is signed by somebody with a K in their name. And we've got the rookies underneath that. We've got Kevin Koslovsky. All right. Not to be confused with Kyle Broslovsky. Kevin played four years in the bigs. Three of those with KC. One of those with Milwaukee. Only four career home runs, but one of those off Nolan Ryan. That's a nice feather in his cap. Those signatures look pretty sweet on those KC Royal cards. Went on to become the hitting coach for the Milliken University. Go Big Blue. That's a private That's a private college in Illinois. And he's also an Illinois insurance agent. So for anyone in the state of Illinois who's looking for some insurance needs, you can always reach out to Kevin. Get a card signed and get a policy. There you have his information there. 1910 Shore Oak Drive. Very nicely signed on these cards. Thank you very much, Kevin. On to our final return of the day. And just like that, guys, return number five from this week's TTMM is from Phoenix, Arizona. We've got some envelope shrapnel I will dispose of. And we have some vintage Joe Amalfitano. Nice 10-year career for him. A utility infielder came up with the Giants. Played with the Cubs and a little bit of time with the Houston Colt 45s. Lots of vintage. Very nice signature and thin blue Sharpie. He retired in 1967 from the game of baseball. Playing it, that is. He's been a coach ever since, spending a lot of time with the Giants as well as the Dodgers. He was the Dodgers' third base coach for 16 years, including the World Series winning 1988 team. And he is actually now back with the Giants, uh, working in their minor league system, showing those young kids how to bunt and uh, run the bases and stuff, even at the age of 86. So he's been in baseball for a very, very long time. Those weren't the cards I sent him. Those were the cards I sent him recently. I got to get that 1974 Topps card signed for the set. He is a coach on that Giants team that Charlie Fox ran back in 73. So... There you have it, guys. This week's Through the Mail Monday, number 105 in the books. Hope everyone enjoyed it. Let me know what you thought of the returns in the comments down below. And please, as I say every week, if you have not subscribed yet, please do so by hitting that subscribe button. You will find that right there in the bottom right corner. You can just click on that at your leisure. I do this every single Monday. I'd love to have you along for the ride. There's today's haul. Very nice returns from all of those fine young gentlemen that um, took the time to sign my baseball cards. Shame about Jim Cott, but that is the way the cookie crumbles. Drew Romo, awesome lad. Instant fan of him. We'll pull for him as well as I always pull for the kids that uh, sign for me and always pull for them to do well and make it to the bigs. Of course, not many do, but hopefully he's uh, he's one of the few that do. So. Some more videos coming up this week. I still have my set recaps to do from 74, 87, 89, 84. I told you I was going to do them several videos in a row. I did one and it took a long time and was super time consuming. And by the time I got done with it, I, I was I was satisfied with it. It was a bit long, so I, I might just do it as sort of a weekly installment to catch up on all those sets. Maybe something you guys would be interested in seeing. Maybe not. I'm going to do it anyway and uh, put those out on maybe like a Friday or Saturday or something until I'm all caught up because uh, it's really tough to go through 50 to 100, 150 cards in the set that are signed and put together all the information I'm doing as far as uh, the cost and where I got them from and keeping tabs on all that stuff. It's just uh, it was fun to put them in a binder, but it was it was tough to edit it and do uh, all the post stuff I wanted to do to it. So. Haven't forgot about those. I need to do those, of course, as well as a few other videos I have in the works. So stick with me, guys. Uh, hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. And uh, 3,000 subscribers, that's pretty awesome. Hopefully, maybe in a year, I'll have another 1,000. 
seems to be the going rate for me, which is incredible. And um, yeah, pretty exciting. Pretty happy. Shout out to all my friends out there watching, as well as, of course, um, all the newbies that are here that, you know, introduce yourself down below. I'll, I'll say, hey, uh, thanks for coming on board and uh, stay tuned. There'll be more of these to come. And uh, that's it, guys. Some nice weather here today in Oregon. Sunday, very nice day. Of course, that's just a tease. We're going to have some nasty months up ahead with weather and cold weather and nasty rain and all that stuff here in the Willamette Valley. So, But uh, spring uh, around the corner, February around the corner, that means uh, you know NASCAR is going to start at Daytona 500. That always uh, is, is my wake-up call. Once the race season starts, even though the race season, their off-season is super short. But once that gets going, I'm, 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 I'm geared up for baseball. I'm already geared up for baseball, guys. I'm, I'm so stoked. I'm so ready for it. Mets are, uh, Mets are doing fun things. All the teams are doing fun things. I think the Braves are still the team to beat in the East right now. So really looking forward to it. Uh, catching up on some basketball, following it probably more than I have in a long time. As a Knicks fan, I have really had no reason to follow it in many, many years. I'm very loyal to my teams. I'm always a diehard. But if any team will make you want to quit on them, um, a, a complete loyalist like me, it would be a team like the Knicks who pretty much have done everything in the last 25, 30 years to drive off their fan base. So so I focus on players right now. I'm of course, Peyton Pritchard here, uh, Oregon guy. Uh, saw him play for many years in Oregon. And uh, pulling for him in the Celtics right now. I've been watching him play some minutes and uh, even got the team pass so I can watch some of their games. And uh, pretty excited about him watching him play and hope he does well for the Celtics. Already got a few of his cards. I was going to do that with... Yeah, just like just like football, my Giants aren't doing that great, so I've been pulling for Justin Herbert. Uh, again, another Oregon guy who I saw play most of his games at home and was very fun to watch and uh, pulling for those guys as well. Unfortunately, I did not get the crack at the cards of his before they went sky high, and so now I'm just kind of, I just won't have any Justin Herbert cards. So that's fine. They're, they're a little expensive, so I'll take his success over not having any of his cards as opposed to him being a bust and me, me having a bunch of his cheap cards laying around. So even picking up some Marcus Mariota cards now, another guy that was a little expensive back in the day, but now that he's kind of a backup, I've been picking up some cards for cheap. But as a Heisman Trophy uh, winner, he still has and will, probably will always have a bit of a uh, – collectors will be definitely uh, chasing him as well just because he was a Heisman, and a lot of people have Heisman collections. So fighting for all those guys with the Mariota cards and, of course, uh, the Celtics and – Pritchard, uh, pretty cheap cards right now, so we'll see how his career pans out. I'm uh, pretty excited to follow that, and uh, that's it, guys, for um, the, the the last of my rambling video here. Hope everyone um, has a great week. Thanks a lot for watching. Stay tuned. Another couple videos this week on the horizon, and that's it, guys. See ya!